Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review on um, the series that I recently just finished, which is like really weird because it takes you all the way back to the 90s, and it's pretty much the series Friends. I went through literally a Friends frenzy, literally, and I watched it from the beginning to the end, and I have to say that it is... Totally, it totally reminds me of the 90s. I loved the characters in it. Absolutely love, like, the concepts of, like, their problems and how they met and um, everything goes in circle. The longer you freaking watch it, um, the better the stories get. Um, and it's, it, it's, it's truly a 90s series. Like, if you are a 90s baby, you had to have heard of Friends or watched it one time or another. Um, now that I'm in my 30s, I just wanted to go back into time, and so I wanted to concentrate on the series that I really, really, really wanted to watch back in the day, and that was, of course, Friends. So, my opinions on Friends, my opinion on Friends, literally, um, everything from the fashion sense to how everybody met and, um, the history behind all the characters it just makes so much sense. Like, it's funny, it's quirky, it's um, one of those series that you really want to know what happens next, or you really, really want to know, like, what the fuck does that mean? You know, so it's just one of those series that you really got to just sit down and watch, and it, it's kind of a time capsule back into time. Um, at least for me it was, because the series was just... It, there's nothing, there's no real merit to it. It's just a bunch of uh, friends that just have day-to-day -day problems and they are, the closeness that they have with it, you wish you and your friends had. Um, and some of the problems and the struggles are actual, like, real problems and struggles that some of these people have, even though it's like a twisted merit in their own little way of, um, going about things, but, um, yeah, pretty much, that's pretty much my opinion on that, and is, <laughs> is that the characters in it were absolutely crazy. First off, Ross and Rachel, what the fuck, bro? Like, they were, I guess Ross literally, like, has been in love with Rachel for, like, ever, and then, like, they finally get together, and then they get torn apart by just an unfortunate miscommunication that happened, and Ross, being a dumbass, like, literally slept with somebody else, and just, oh my god, it, I literally, like, fell into pieces with that episode where everyone was kind of stuck in the room, and everybody could hear, like, Ross and Rachel's argument, and I just, it made me cry so bad because Ross has been in love with Rachel forever. And then Rachel, uh, you know, is always constantly falling in and out of love with Ross. And at the, towards the end of it, or at the end of the series, at, at the whole thing, 
Rachel finally realizes how much she actually does love Ross, and, you know, it just pulls together. Chandler and, um, what's her name? God, Chandler and Monica. Oh my God, what the hell is going on there? Um, first, it was this whole neighbor thing, and then they had this little vacation that happened, and all of a sudden, Chandler is like, kind of mocking Monica into, like, sleeping with him or whatever, and then all of a sudden something happens, and Ross is getting married for the second time to somebody, or the third time to somebody, um, something of that nature. It's freaking weird, and then, like, you know, they hook up, and nobody knows about it, and poor Joey's, like, in the middle of it, and it's all crazy. Like, this whole crazy thing just happened. You guys have to watch it. There's a lot of pop-up stars that come in there, too. Like, Robin Williams was on there. Um, Bruce Willis was on there at one time. Um, just got Brad Pitt was in there when he was hot and sexy. Like, it was crazy. So, yeah, I honestly think you guys need to, like, go back into time and go watch Friends, because Friends is freaking hilarious. I absolutely loved it. I could not stop watching it. And, yeah, it just, it's good memories and good times. And, yeah, I guess that's it for my opinion on Friends and why you guys should just go back into time and just watch the fucking thing. Um, thumbs up if you like my video, subscribe if you want, and I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.